Hey guys, so today I wanted to talk about Dinacharya. Dinacharya means daily routine in Sanskrit, and it's a really important aspect of yoga and of Ayurveda. And so specifically about the Dinacharya, I'm going to talk about morning routines and having a really wonderful and um, you know balanced and healthy way to start your day. And Ayurveda they believe very, very strongly in in yoga that how you start your day is how the entire rest of the day is going to go. The energy that starts your day is the energy that will follow you throughout. So if you wake up with the sun, um, and if you live a kind of with the sun or eat with the sun and think about how the sun can uh, help kind of steer your day, that's really useful. So if you wake up with the sun naturally, and then you get up and then you scrape your tongue, that's a really a great uh, way in Ayurveda to clean up all the toxins that have been growing on your tongue overnight and accumulating there. All that yucky white stuff, so we just scrape that off. And then if you wanted to have like a cup of warm water, maybe with a little lemon, that's really recommended. And then um, either before or after the lemon water, sit for meditation, and then have a nice yoga routine. That's of course ideal. If not, just try to wake up with the sun, um, scrape your tongue, um, and do um, you know, some maybe just three breaths in front of the mirror. Um, just inhale mindfully and exhale mindfully three times. That's it, right? Just try to think about having your morning routine as your way of grounding yourself and your way of creating this healthy, um, just kind of invite an invitation of energy into yourself and into your your day so that you can carry that with you throughout and Ayurveda they also recommend um, if you want to all sorts of things like uh, using a neti pot to cleanse your nose rubbing sesame oil on your gums um, before you go to bed dry brushing your skin with a loofah there's so many different ways to cleanse the body of toxins and to promote overall health but I think it's really important to kind of think about for you your dinacharya what is your daily routine and how do you have you built it and crafted it in a way that supports you like my daily routine is I wake up and I lay in bed for, you know, 15 minutes and I just, I cuddle with my man. I love it. We, we start our morning every morning with connection and that's so important to have that, just that uh, slow waking up process with intimacy and connection and just nice little snuggles and hugs. It's perfect. And then after that, I immediately just where I'm at right now, I'm meditating on my bed, even though that's not super recommended. So I sit on my bed and I meditate for between 15 minutes and 30, depending on just how it's flowing. And then I put on my yoga clothes and I come outside and I take to my mat. And so I can spend um, anywhere from some mornings, just 20, 30 minutes. It's nothing intense or some mornings, up to two hours it all depends on how you're feeling like don't set your standard too high right don't I used to kind of tell myself every day one hour you got to do it, you got to do it but then I realized you know I just have to show up to my mat that is my practice that is my dedication that is my commitment I I am committed to being on that mat every day that doesn't mean I have to do an entire Ashtanga primary series every day that's my commitment and my practice figure out what yours is and then I have a nice breakfast of oats um, and I eat it outside always away from technology and Ayurveda they always believe never eat with technology and then in Ayurveda they also encourage as well you having your biggest lunch of the day is your meal sorry I ruined the surprise your biggest meal of the day is your lunch um, they also have so many other recommendations um, also trying to fall asleep um, not with the sun, not when the sun goes down, right? But we're falling asleep and we're slowly letting everything kind of let go as the sun goes down. We shouldn't eat after the sun goes down because our digestive fire decreases a lot is what they believe, um, that the, the sun is akin to our digestive fire. And when the sun is at the highest, warmest point of the day in the, in the sky, that's when we should eat the biggest meal. And as the sun goes down, we should eat less and less. So just a few tips about Dhinacharya there. I, if you have anything else or if there's something I kind of missed, today was kind of a free, a free for all little chat with y'all about my daily routine or my morning routine. And I'd love to hear about yours. What's sacred? What, what are you doing that is, do you have a gratitude journal? Um, are are you trying to do a prayer before meals? I would love to hear your dinacharya and how you are building that and crafting that in a way that supports you and your health. Anyway, see you guys later.